Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by today. If you own a Fire Stick or any other Fire TV device that has received the new updated layout, you will no doubt by now be familiar with profiles. If you have seen my previous video discussing the new updated layout and you have kids or grandkids, you may be interested in a new feature that has been rolled out to more devices to allow the creation of kids' profiles on your Fire TV. If you want to find out some more, then let's go and take a look. Amazon's free kid-friendly platform has been available to those in the US for some time now, so this may be old news for you. But users in the UK and Germany are only just starting to see this new feature being rolled out to some Fire TV devices. Parents can now create kids their own profiles which lets you set screen time limits, share trusted children's content and create a personalised experience for each child. Let's take a look at how it works, how easy it is to set up and what useful parental control features it offers. To add a kid's profile, just select the Add Profile icon. Then choose Create a new profile. You now have this added option to choose if this is a child's profile by toggling the option to Yes or No. Toggling this option to Yes will then allow you to create a new child's profile by entering their name, date of birth and choosing a profile icon. You've then got the option to create a child pin that will keep your child in child-friendly profiles so they can't access your parent profiles with content that might be inappropriate. Create a pin number then you might get asked if you want to sign up to the Amazon Kids Plus service. This gives you unlimited access for up to four children to thousands of kid-friendly films and TV shows in their Fire TV profiles. In the UK, this costs $4.99 per month, but you can currently sign up and try it free for one whole month. I'm going to select no thanks and then choose continue with my own content. Next, if you are a Prime member, you can choose to add child-friendly Prime video content to the child's profile you are creating. Next, you will get to see a list of all content that you have purchased or downloaded so you can select which content to add to the child's profile. This keeps you in full control over what apps the child's profile has access to. For now, I'm just going to choose Not Now. And the child's profile is now set up and ready to select from the profile screen. Once loaded up, you can now see that they have a brand new home screen that's clean, bright and colourful, but most importantly gives access to kid-friendly content only. As I didn't add any other content when creating the child's profile, this profile only has access to TV shows and movies from Amazon Prime. But of course this is only applicable if you are a Prime subscriber and you choose to add Prime content during setup. If not, then the child's profile will be empty until you add any content manually, which can easily be achieved by going into the child settings. If you protected child's profiles with a PIN, you will need to enter the PIN to get access to the child's settings. Tap on your child's profile and choose Add Content. You can then choose to add any apps or videos you own to the child's profile. Just tap on all of the apps that you want to add, then click Done. Now when you go back into the child's profile, you will see that all of those apps you selected have been added to your child's home screen. This again keeps you fully in control over what content your kids have access to, from videos to streaming services to games. Not only do you have full control over the content that your child has access to, you can set and manage time limits from within the child settings menu. When you turn this on, you can set time limits by setting a bedtime and screen time limits. 
bedtime settings let you specify what hours the child's profile can be used for. As a default, this is set to make the profile unusable between the hours of 8pm to 8am for weekdays and weekends, but this can be adjusted to whatever is right for you and your child. You can also set time limits by total screen time and you can make this different for weekdays and weekends. Or you can even specify the time limit by activity. This can be useful if you wanted to restrict how much time can be spent using apps and how much time can be spent watching videos. Once your child is in their profile, if you turned on the pin protection, they will be unable to access any other profiles that are not also child profiles. This gives you extra peace of mind that your Fire TV is locked down, making it much easier to share your devices with the younger members of your household. I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments down below if you already use kids profiles or if you will be using kids profiles after watching this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.